Deus in adiutorium meum intende. Domine ad adiuvandum me festina. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Santo. Sicut erat in principio et non et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Alleluia. Let Paul's surpassing glory be now celebrated by the Church. How wondrous his Apostle true, out of a foe the Lord has made. By what impassioned fires incensed against the name of Christ he raged, by these he has burned hotter still, proclaiming now the love of Christ. How great and mighty Paul's reward, the triple heaven ascending high. He hears the words of mystery, which none may dare to tell aloud. Meanwhile he sows the word's own seed, and fields of grain grow plentiful. Thus heaven's storehouse fills again with fruits of good and noble works. In manner of a sparkling lamp, he floods the earth with radiance. He puts the shades of error to flight, so that alone the truth may reign. To Christ let every glory be, with Father and kind Spirit too, who gave a vessel so a gleam, elections herald to all tribes. Amen. I know the one whom I have trusted, and I am certain that he, the just judge, has power to keep safe what he has entrusted to me until that day. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you. Like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hand. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. I know the one whom I have trusted, and I am certain that he the just judge has power to keep safe what he has entrusted to me until that day. 
Paul, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Paul, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. God's grace in me has not been without fruit. It is always at work in me. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. God's grace in me has not been without fruit. It is always at work in me. A reading from the book of Acts. I have appeared to you to designate you as my servant and as a witness to what you have seen of me and what you will see of me. I have delivered you from this people 
and from the nations to open the eyes of those to whom I am sending you to turn them from darkness to light and from the dominion of Satan to God that through their faith in me they may obtain the forgiveness of their sins and a portion among God's people. You are a chosen instrument, holy Apostle Paul. You are a chosen instrument, holy Apostle Paul. Preacher of truth to the whole world, holy Apostle Paul. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. You are a chosen instrument, holy Apostle Paul. Let us celebrate the conversion of St. Paul the Apostle. He was transformed from being a persecutor of Christ into a vessel of His grace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Let us celebrate the conversion of St. Paul the Apostle. He was transformed from being a persecutor of Christ into a vessel of his grace. Beloved friends, we have inherited the kingdom along with the apostles. Let us give thanks to the Father for all his gifts. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for the banquet of Christ's body and the blood given us through the apostles, which refreshes us and gives us life. The The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for the feast of your word prepared for us by the apostles, giving us light and joy. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for your holy church, founded on the apostles, where we are gathered together into your community. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for the cleansing power of baptism and penance that you have entrusted to your apostles through which we are cleansed of our sins. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, who taught the whole world through the preaching of the blessed Apostle Paul, draw us, we pray, nearer to you through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today. And so make us witnesses to your truth in the world through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen.